redox reactions we know the reactions are of many types one of the most important types of the reactions are redox reactions the reactions in which reduction and oxidation takes place simultaneously are called redox reactions i'm repeating again the reactions in which reduction and oxidation takes place simultaneously are called redox reactions in fact re is a word which has been obtained from the reduction and the ox is from the word oxidation now these two processes always takes place simultaneously in a particular reaction or in a process and that is why such processes or reactions are called redox reactions in order to understand the redox reactions completely we need to first understand what exactly this reduction and oxidation is let us take oxidation first oxidation is the addition of oxygen or any other electronegative atom is called oxidation the reactions or the processes in which oxygen is added or any other electronegative atom is added such reactions or processes are called oxidation or in terms of the electrons it is the loss of electrons is called oxidation loss of electrons when a particular molecule or species of a particular ion or an atom loses electrons then the process is called oxidation or in terms of hydrogen the removal of hydrogen is also called from a particular species or in a particular reaction is also called oxidation similarly the reduction is is the processes or the process or the reactions in which addition of hydrogen takes place are called reduction processes in terms of electrons it is the processes in which gain of electrons takes place the processes or reactions in which gain of electrons takes place are called reduction or in terms of the electronegative atoms these are the processes or reactions in which removal of oxygen or electro negative atom takes place are called reduction so these are the basic definitions or the methods of understanding what exactly the oxidation or reduction is let us take few examples on in order to understand these two types of reactions more clearly so that we can understand what exactly are redox reactions